Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'm back with another video. If you're brand new to my channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. And if you have not subscribed and you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload future videos. I have a fun project for you today. I purchased this a while ago, but I never put it together. I put it aside and I forgot all about it. So we are going to make a, an insert for a shadow box. This is the Doodlebug Designs Shadow Box Insert Kit. And this one is called Cute and Crafty. And I love Doodlebug. And it's got all these little craft items. So I thought that was really, really cute. So you can make a, um, the insert for the craft box. Now they have a ton of other designs for all different kind of occasions and Halloween, which has just passed, and Thanksgiving, and Christmas, and summer, and camping, and just tons and tons and tons. So I'll link a, I'll um, put a link down below where you can find some of the the, the kits if you're interested in purchasing any, any of them. So what we have is the kit, and it comes with just about everything that you need, which is not a lot, surprisingly. So the first thing we have, um, so they're basically all stickers and sprinkles and stuff like that so all of the designs are here are stickers so you have a sheet full of that you have uh, the sprinkles and the sp shape sprinkles now if you know me maybe part of the reason i really love this was because all the bright colors i love bright colors so let me t open these up i should do this before so it won't be so much noise but sorry about that i wasn't even thinking took the other stuff out so I forgot about these so I'm gonna set those aside so here's the sprinkles and the uh ooh, shape sprinkles I'll set those aside and I set the stickers aside also that comes in the kit are a piece of vellum and a piece of white cardstock and this is going to be an eight by eight uh shadow box so you'll need to cut both of these pieces down to eight by eight to fit in the shadow box also, what comes with it, let me move this out of the way. I don't need that anymore. Is uh, sort of, if you want to call it the, well, it's a template, basically. So what you do, I'm going to go to the side in a minute and cut these paste pieces down. Is you take your vellum. And once it's cut down, you're going to cut it down to 8 by 8 which will fit inside this box. It'll be just that. I think I'm going to cut mine just a slight hair smaller than eight by eight to make sure that it fits inside the uh the shadow box so you we're going to cut it down and you were going to affix it to the paper and you can see through it you know vellum you can basically see through see through it the only other thing that you will need um or well, you may need are some kind of foam tape and that's the if i don't know if you can see it really good some of the designs have a little have a little X on it. And if you're going to follow this particular design, the X means that you will pop it up. But you don't have to. You can leave them all flat or, or it's, it's, again, it's your your kit. You decide how you want to do it. So they mark the ones that they want or they suggest you pop up. And you would use some kind of foam um, adhesive, some foam dots or something like that to pop it up. So I'm going to cut my papers down, both of them, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've cut my papers down. So the white cardstock we can set aside. We don't need that right now. And I've cut my papers down, the vellum and the white cardstock to seven and uh, 15 sixteenths. Close to that. Or I think that's close to, close to what I cut them down to. Just shy, a, a, sh a little shy of uh, eight inches. And so I'm going to use some, you can use some washi tape. I'm going to use this mint tape to secure it down so it doesn't move. A little piece up there at the top and a little piece down here at the bottom. <coughs> and, okay, so first things first. I'll move it down just a tad so I can see. And if you need tweezers to fill, uh, fill it in, you can do that. Um, I 
where my phone to be. So this one says pop it up. So I'm going to pop it up. I do have some smaller ones as well. So I may just skip ahead on, on some of these so it doesn't take so long. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to mute my phone while I was recording and I got kicked off. So I put the first piece down and I did adhere it with some um, uh, some foam dots. So let's go ahead and f try to do a, f a little bit more. <laughs> I've uh, muted it now, so it should it should be okay. So we're going to adhere right here. I think this will be really fun to do with your kids. You know, if you're there on vacation or something like that. And um, I think this will be really a really cute project to do with your kids. Grandkids. It seems like a lot of these are already popped up. I'm going to do the ones that aren't popped up, so. And then finding the pieces. Ah. But you could do this while you're watching television. I think it'll be kind of fun. As I take my time trying to figure out where all these little pieces are. <laughs> Here's a cute little one. Looks like a little iPhone. And this one has... Um, this one will be popped up, so I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on here and adhere that down. Oh, this is going to be real cute. Oh, isn't that cute? And then we'll take the shape sprinkles and here that down. Look, we have all these stickers that are left over that we can use for another project. 
which is really cool. I gotta think of something to, to make with these. Oh, this is... So, what we do now is remove the tape. And remove that to the side. And then we adhere it to the white cardstock. Gotta figure out what I did with the white cardstock. Now you can use pattern pattern paper or whatever, but I think the card the white cardstock is a better so it, it'll it'll make things pop. I mean, because if you put the um yeah, if you put some other uh well this is a little crooked. There we go. If you put a uh, pattern paper behind it, it might be a little distracting and you don't you won't be able to see all the little designs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some liquid glue and on the back side, you can see where all the little pieces are. I'm going to put glue there just a little bit. Because if you put it on it where there's no images, then you'll see the glue and we don't want that. So I'm going to do that. You don't really need a lot, just a little bit. But I am going to put them all over because I do want them to stick down for quite a while. And I'll turn it around. And then we'll just stick it down. And yes, I know that's upside down. Give a chance to line up, line it all the way up. Make sure it adheres. And there you have it, my friends. Once I find my frame, I'll put it in there and then we will be totally done. So I think this is so cute. Uh, the only thing you have to make sure that you do is the, they have like, each thing has little eyes on it. So you wanna make sure the eyes are going the, the right way. But isn't this a fun little project to do? So that's my project. And at the very end, I'll, excuse me, I'll show you what it looks like inside of a, um, a frame. So this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I have a link down below uh, where you can purchase these things if you wish to. Those are affiliate links, which means I would earn a small commission if you do decide to purchase using those links. But leave me a comment on uh, down below and let me know what you think. I'll be back real soon with another video. Bye. Okay, everyone, I'm back really quick. I, I had another um, frame to put it in. But I realized I used the frame already, so I didn't have anything to do. I mean, anything to use. So what do we crafters do? We make our own picture frame. <laughs> and I made it out of, um, this is a 12 by 12 piece of uh, black cardstock. And I used a little bit of extra cardstock to make the little, the little stand for it. So here is the final pro project. It'll be in my... Um, I'm going to put it on my desk so I can have my crafty, you know, sometimes it, it just makes you feel good. You know, it's something fun to do. And I really love how this turned out. So I'm actually going to go back and look to see what other kind of um, uh, inserts that they have. Now, I, I actually did stick it down so it's in here permanently. Maybe I should have done that, but it doesn't really matter. Um, because, like, again, it's only paper and I can make another one of another uh, frame if I decide to buy another one, uh, you know, insert uh, project. 
but it's 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 really good. I don't know if you can see the dimension in it. It just turned out so cute. So this is the way it'll stand up. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably a little bit close. But yeah, make your own picture frame. Now, the other thing with that, it's very, very light, which is really good. You may, it, um, it's not something super heavy, but this was really easy to make. So I just wanted to come back on really quick and show you exactly what I'm, I've used for the picture frame. So again, I'm going to sign off. Oh, one other thing. Um, if you want to learn how to, want me to do a video to show you how to make the picture frame, leave me a comment down below and I'll try to do my best to set up something. Um, it wasn't too hard to make after at, at all. So if you like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And also share the video out, video out to others uh, so they can be, uh, excuse me, so they can see uh, some crafty goodness as well. So, this is Yolanda from CraftyCinemas.com, and I'm starting off for real this time. Bye!